After relocating to the country, the Woods family is pleased with the home they purchased for their kids, Stephen and Ellie. Ellie fears abandoning her pals and feels estranged from her parents. Under a door, they discover an antique artwork of a guy holding two fingers up in letters of an unidentified alphabet with a tiny triangle drawn underneath. After being frightened while on the phone with a friend, Ellie discovers her brother Stephen in a secret compartment in the game room, clad in a cloak and sporting an odd skull, an abacus, an ancient record player, and a plaque that reads, Salve T. Coagula, are discovered. After calling her mother about the issue, Ellie is instructed to check the breakers in the basement. As she counts from 1 to 10, she descends the basement stairs. She is led by Kara, but she stumbles on the final step and falls. The police are called by the family, but there is no proof of a crime. Kara forgets to pick up Stephen from school, distributes missing posters, and Ellie flees the house. Security cameras at rail and bus stations were not functioning, according to the police. A young girl named Ellie sought assistance from her friends and the forensic team after experiencing bullying and harassment on social media. Kara is determined to learn more, although the situation is not criminal in nature. The words, Salvi Coagula, which translates to dissolve and coagulate and is associated with ancient alchemy, are engraved above the basement door, and Kira finds them. When Kara phones Stephen, he informs her that nothing out of the ordinary occurred the night Ellie vanished. Additionally, Kara learns that Ellie never disclosed to her family that she had an anarchist tattoo. When she returns to the basement, she discovers an equation at the end, Roman numerals on the stairs, and a pentagon above the entrance. Despite sending a forensic team to investigate the house, the police are unable to uncover any other clues. When Kara awakens, she hears what appears to be Ellie's voice whispering, and she follows it down to the basement. When she unintentionally kicks Stephen's ball, it tumbles down the steps and keeps bouncing. Kara is disappeared when Brian wakes up, and he discovers her gazing at the symbols above the doors. He explains the equation and the sign to her husband, but all he knows is that the previous owner was the daughter of a renowned scholar who had owned the property first. Kara photographs the symbols above her home's doors and forwards them to her assistant for more analysis. She discovers that the symbols are Hebrew glyphs that spell the name of a Jewish mythological sea creature called Leviathan. After a fight, Kara scoops up her son Stephen, who is bleeding from the nose. Kira looks up the name Leviathan online and discovers illustrations that match the serpent she observed. She also learns that, with the exception of the daughter, his whole family vanished in the same house. The electricity goes out as an odd air blows in from beneath the cellar door. Kira tries to free Stephen after hearing his cries for assistance, but the lock is jammed. She discovers that something is alive down there after finding the key in the lock. When Kara feels scared, she asks Stephen to unlock the door, but the boy can't. Brian, Kara's friend, shows up right on time and opens the door. Brian thinks Kara is seeing things that are not there, but she does reveal her experiences of presence, her phone dropping, and the Featherston family going missing. While searching the basement for her phone, Brian discovers a ball of hair. Kira discovers an equation she discovered in the basement when visiting Dr. Remy Foray at the National College of Mathematics. Feston's disappearance is revealed to Remy by his daughter Rose, who never discusses it, and his academic life. Because Foray thinks the equation represents more dimensions, he makes a graph to show it. He says he will give Kara a call with the outcome. Remy who thinks the equation has something to do with a branch of mathematics developed by alchemists in the 12th century, calls Kara when she gets home with a new phone. Brian discovers the mathematical plate in the basement and spots a gloomy-looking Ellie after leaving Stephen alone in the playroom. When Stephen cries for assistance, he is discovered by himself. Rose is in a nursing facility when Brian locates her phone. Kara seeks Rose for assistance after telling her about Ellie. In a notepad, Rose wrote the term Leviathan, 
stating that her father brought it, and that it was one of the seven princes of hell. Something ancient has surfaced in Kira and Brian's home as a result of an enigmatic ceremony. They call Remy, who forms a five-pointed star by joining the triangles with the Pentagon. Sal Coagula, the gatekeeper of hell, and the demon Bamet, the gatekeeper of hell, are represented by the star, Kira explains. When Stephen loses control, his drone enters the basement and begins to count every step. The power goes out when he gets to the final one, and a map forms beside him. They look around the house but can't discover anything. They hear Stephen's voice counting as his ball comes in the living room. When they take Stephen to be checked, they find that he has a temperature and burns. Brian is in a daze in the living room as Kara rushes to find him. There are the noises of something approaching as the basement door opens and a powerful wind emerges. A strange thing tries to seize Kira as she hides in another room. Thousands of people are lined up in a vast, open space and a tunnel that she discovers. After finding her, Kira and Ellie are able to make it back to the house. The house seems to be in a bleak and unsettling place as Kara and Brian begin counting.